Okay, that's the NOARC uh, backup box installed uh, for an existing uh, Primo 5 Gen 24 inverter. Um, the backup box is added on, uh, very straightforward. Uh, I acquired this from Sol Distribution and um, it's pretty much you just uh, put it on the wall, connect up all your cables and away you go. There is a data cable that goes between the backup box and the uh, inverter and you do need a Gen 24 Plus however I believe if you have a Gen 24 you can buy the additional firmware to make it A Plus so that it can do backup obviously you need a battery for that this particular one has a BYD um, so that's our main switchboard I just bought a 4 core on earth out of there I use one of the conductors as my um, grid supply and then that passes through the contactor and gives us our backup loads. Now, in this instance, I've backed up the whole house um, because it is only one person living here with relatively small loads. Probably his biggest load is his EV charger, of which he can control uh, the rate of charge on that anyway, and he is quite savvy, so he's not about to go and overload it. Um, We've got a spare breaker there, spare breaker there, which was originally the non-essential loads. Um, the front and a smart meter. Uh, so a single uh, four core, four pair, um, eight core, four pair data cable into the backup box. Uh, instructions are straightforward. Probably should have shown you with the cover off, but um, it's all relatively straightforward on the instructions that come with the backup box. And uh, this enables the inverter to island, uh, so go off grid and charge the batteries and supply home loads. Uh, there is a small break in power with the Fronius setup uh, of up to five, uh, 15 seconds, I believe, before the um, grid comes back. Uh, sorry, before it goes. If there is a grid outage, it takes about 15 seconds uh, for the power to come back on. Uh, in the off-grid mode, in the backup mode. Uh, it can off-grid indefinitely, so if you've got a long power outage, you can pretty much remain off-grid indefinitely. Obviously, you need to watch that you don't deplete your battery completely, otherwise you will still lose power at night. Um, I had to call Fronius for support because I didn't have the installer password. Um, they were quite helpful. The guy I spoke with was clear, clearly having a bad day and I couldn't understand him too well, but we got there in the end and uh, everything was sorted. Uh, once you get into the Fronius uh, setup, the commissioning process, um, it's just a matter of changing it to uh, facilitate the backup mode in the configuration settings, which again was straightforward. Um, not having the installer password was a small inconvenience. Fronius gave me a reset code and um, I was away and just created my own password which I uh, recorded for the client and myself. Um, and that's it, I've tested it a couple of times now. Um, the break in between the grid going out and the power coming back on is way less than the 15 seconds that Fronius say that it may take. Uh, so that's pretty impressive, but it is still a break regardless. That means your modem uh, will shut down and have to start up again, so you may lose connectivity with the inverter. Um, and it also means if you have any old school clocks, you may need to reset them on your oven and so forth. But uh, other than that, pretty impressed. Um, good system and easy to install and commission. There we go.